Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to be covering instantaneous spell effects and attack effects, particularly the ones that are created by JB2A and how we can bring them into our game. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of them right now as my character here makes an attack using his maul. So we see the dice are rolled, damage is rolled, and then here is the maul effect. Now, I've done a number of videos on this topic before, if you've seen them, but it's even easier to bring in these effects. Let's go ahead and get started and take a look at the modules we'll need. The required modules for this setup are Automated Animations, D&D 5e, and then the JB2A Effects module, either the free or the Patreon. The Patreon having the benefit of more color effects and variety. You will also need the FX Master module, and then Token Magic is optional. Once you have installed all the modules, the actual setup is pretty simple. Right here I have my item titled Maul, and then in the source, this is the same spot where you might see like PHB or Xanthar's Guide to Everything. I've just typed in red. Instead of typing in red, I'm going to choose a different color, making certain that JB2A actually has an effect for that color, but they have quite a number of different colors available. And then I'm going to make an attack now with my mall and see what has changed. So same thing, my dice are nice going off and then here is the mall attack. But now I have a blue mall rather than the red mall that I had before. So very simple to change. Let's say though that I have a custom item like here, world breaker. Instead of having mall at the top, I can type down mall here in the source code because it reads the entire item. And now I can go ahead and make another attack and it'll have the same exact effect. Even though the name is not at the top, because the name is in the source code, it still goes through. And this works the same way for your spells as well. So here I have my Firebolt spell, but I'm going to flavor it blue. And if I make an attack, we're going to see a blue Firebolt shoot out of the character. Earlier I mentioned that token magic is optional for this setup. The advantage of using token magic is that it'll add in effects to go along with the JB2A, such as a glow effect when you cast the Cure Wound spell. Another thing you can do is you can have an explosion effect that is applied to a grenade, an arrow, a bomb, or even a spell that creates a template if you want a little extra flair to the spell. So here I have my bow, and then in the source, I've written arrow explode blue, parentheses 10, meaning I'm going to have an explosion effect that it has a 10 foot radius. So as I come in with the attack, we're going to see the dice are rolled, the arrow is going to be shot off, and then after the arrow connects, there's going to be a blue explosion that has a 10 foot radius around it. So as we can see, there are a lot of effects that you can use and very easily. If I want to change Ray of Frost from being the standard blue to green, all I need to do is change the source code. And then as soon as I cast the spell now, we will see the green effect. One of the things that Octagon created when he was making this module is he made a very handy PDF with all of the variations that are currently in place. So we'll go take a look at that and see some of the keywords you can use. Here is the PDF. I'll be putting a link down in the description so you can follow along as well. There are tons of options that are already covered and JB2A are, are constantly creating new effects for attacks and spells. So by the time that you have watched this video, maybe there's something even new that has been added in. So that is all we're going to cover today. Like I said, I think it's a lot easier to bring these effects into your game with just a few simple changes. So hopefully you can find it useful and hopefully you will really consider supporting the Patreon and adding those effects in. Thanks everyone for listening. I hope this has been helpful.